Hello and welcome. This is going to be a review on the Sector 9 73mm center set race forms. And I've been thrashing them for a good while now, and I finally thrashed them into oblivion, so it's time for a review. Okay, first up, what they were like out of the box. At 73mm tall and having a 40mm contact patch, which are both slightly larger than most freeride wheels. I was able to use them for a little bit of moderate downhill at the beginning of the life of the wheel. They still had the skin on out of the box, so they gripped corners pretty well. They have pretty good roll speed because of the extra height, and the 40 millimeter contact patch assists in gripping corners a little bit better than most other free ride wheels. Once I had downhilled them a little bit and gotten a little bit of the skin off through pre-drifts and whatnot, I decided to go ahead and break them in fully and did about three or four good long pendies to break them in fully. After that a few good 180s got these things fully broken in and ready to ride. Okay second I'd like to talk about some of the characteristics of these wheels. One of my favorite characteristics is that the transition from grip to slip is extremely smooth. I was never really left guessing when I was going to transition into a slide. I always knew exactly when I was going to start sliding out at high speeds and low speeds. Which transitions me to my next thing that I love about these wheels is that you can slide them at very high speeds and at low speeds. Some wheels tend to be really good at high speeds but chattery at low speeds. Some wheels tend to be really good and slidey at low speeds but too icy at high speeds. This wheel has a good middle ground. You can do high speed stand ups or you can dink around and do some little twirly 180s at low speeds as well. The hookup coming out of a slide is also very predictable. Every time I sank my weight down on the board, I felt myself hooking up in a very predictable manner. I was never left guessing or sliding out too long or farther than I wanted to. Third, I'd like to talk about the slide. The slide on this wheel is what I would call a mix between buttery and sugary. It's like a nice middle ground between the two. Very smooth and controlled buttery side of it but as you're gliding across smooth pavement you can hear the nice hiss as it sounds like it's shaving off layers of sugar off of the wheel. Extremely predictable, very smooth controlled slide. It doesn't kill too much speed but if you're trying to throw a stand up into a corner to slow yourself down you don't have to worry about sliding out too far and not killing enough speed. It's a perfect middle ground at ADA. Another thing I loved about the slide of these wheels is that they felt consistent through the whole life of the wheel. Once I got the skin worn off and down to the meat, they felt consistent and the same throughout the whole life of the wheel, all the way right down to the last couple of millimeters. Last but not least, I want to talk about the durability of these wheels. These wheels are extremely durable. I've been riding them for a few months now, and I'm just now coring them a couple weeks ago. They had a nice smooth feel through the life of the wheel. They're center set so you can flip them and rotate them and wear them evenly and they wore evenly throughout the life of the wheel because of this and definitely you will get all your money's worth out of these wheels. So the wheel itself is very resilient and resistant to flat spots and they stayed nice and round down to about the last couple millimeters of the wheel. Okay that about wraps it up for this review on these wheels. In conclusion, I definitely recommend these wheels. Um, they were durable. They had a super smooth, clean slide that was very predictable. The hookup and the release and everything was very smooth. Nothing abrupt about this wheel at all. Very controlled. And uh, as a bonus, in the beginning of the life of the wheel, it can be a good techie downhill wheel. If you liked this video and the review was helpful to you, go ahead and hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments section and I'll be glad to get back to you, my lovely, faithful viewers. Until next time.